Hey guys, this is Blue Set, and welcome to a very special episode of Star Trek Online Let's Plays. We are going to do the very well made episode of Doomsday Device. Oh, yeah, you probably just noticed that I increased the volume in this game so we can hear it more. Starfleet Intelligence needs your help. Right. Starfleet believed that the Klingons were testing their new weapons in the Imaga system. We have information that now le leads me to believe that these testing programs are for something much bigger than a new kind of torpedo. Starfleet Intelligence has received a message from someone claiming to serve in Ambassador Bavat's personal fleet or personal force. This source says that the ambassador's research is complete and that he is planning on using some sort of doomsday weapon on the Federation world. My aide, Lieutenant Von Zill, will join you for this mission. Go, to, go with her to Dania's system. Bavad has a small supply base near one of the outer planets. Our source, a man named Kavalk, says that we will find the information we need to stop Avat there. And we got some very nice, ooh, our paying torpedo. Only acceptable in that mission. Otherwise, everyone else gets a huge amount of damage. Oh yeah. And of course, we get very nice shields. Ooh, resilient. Eh, I don't know. I think I would just stick with the normal shields in this case. Admiral Quinn says you're the right officer for this job. Thanks. I think. All right, let's begin Doomsday Device. We're counting on you. Captain, we have arrived in the Dania system. Starfleet Intelligence told Admiral Quinn that they have a contact in Bavat's fleet and that he is one of he is on one of these vessels. I was expecting some sort of coded transmission, but I'm not receiving anything. It's time for a direct approach. I recommend that we disable one of the Klingon ships and board it. Alright, let's go ahead and head over there. And yes, I will definitely speed this up so that we're not gonna be bored by just shooting out for the same thing over and over again. Alright, he's disabled. Whatever you need, sir. Alrighty. Enemy shields, weapons, and engines are totally disabled, Captain. We're sending over boarding parties to secure the ship. You can join them whenever you are ready. Alright, let's go ahead and get in close and do so. Okay, let's board. I almost decimated that vessel. How can I help you? Captain, I'm coordinating the boarding party's movements. The teams are reporting that the Targ is running with a skeleton crew. There have been a few skirmishes already, but you shouldn't have too much difficulty securing this ship. Well then, let's go ahead and do this. Okay. Well, that looks done. Your order, sir. The deck you are on is secure, Captain Bud. Gamma Squad is reporting that a few Klingons left on the bridge. The Klingons have locked down the turbulence. But now that we hold main engineering, we can take control of the entire system. The triple F near your location is operational. Use it to get to the bridge, and I'll transport security teams to support your advance. Now, I played this previously. There's supposed to be some sort of change with, uh... Actually, no. There was no change to this mission. Never mind. 
This was already heavily changed anyways, and I do believe there is... Okay, was supposed to be a weapons crate over here, but oh well. Let's go ahead and head up to the bridge. taken care of whatever you need sir the bridge and the rest of the ship it, uh, are secured sir and the remaining Klingons are being transported to the Hardy for holding commander Burgess was sure that there was information on this ship that would be valuable to us captain perhaps it is in the ship's logs there should be a terminal in the ready room maybe you'll have luck finding what you, we're looking for well, let's head over here and find out. Captain's personal log. I have been betrayed by my first officer. A man I considered my friend, Kavok. Why? He and a group of traitors tried to take the ship. Kavok is the only survivor. There is also evidence that Kavok sent a coded message to Federation space. I do not understand why a warrior I have trusted with my life would do this. He tried to explain, but I do not need to listen to the words of a traitor. Let him rot in the brig. Ambassador Babat has ordered me to bring him to the Imaga system for questioning. Kavok will die screaming. It is not an honorable death, but it is the one Kavok deserves. Huh. Well, there's Kavok. Okay, let's go ahead and head down to the brig. I won't speak to you through a force field like a cage animal. Let me out and we can talk. You are my enemy, but today you are my only hope. I will redeem my honor. Why were you in the brig? I was once the first officer of this ship. I served the House of Bravado loyally and well, and fought by my captain's side in battle. I thought I was living an honorable life, and then I learned what Be Ambassador Bravado's plans for the war were. I could not let Bravado do such a horrific thing. To unleash such a weapon upon the galaxy for his own ends is, an, is the act of a coward, not a warrior. I gather a small group of officers who thought as I did, our plan was to take over the ship and fly it to the Imaga system. There we would either stop this doomsday uh, this doomsday before it occurred or die in battle. I tried to take the ship and I failed. Now I am dishonored and I must redeem myself or die. More questions? Well, I could probably already go through the whole lining here, but I think somewhere on the lines of uh, something to do with aliens and stuff. Uh, what should we do now? Help me. Repair this ship and we will fly it to Amaga together. Then we can disable the energy drain on your fleet. Uh, disable the energy drain so your fleet can enter. With your help, we can destroy the Doomsday Machine and end the threat to your Federation. How can I help you? Captain, I'm receiving a transmission from Earth Space Dog for you, Priority 1. I'll patch the message through to you. So you can use a terminal in the Red Room. Alrighty, let's head up to the bridge. This is interesting. A warrior seeking to, for redemption.
that's a situation here. Your orders? Do what you think is best. It's risky, but Kvalk may be our best chance to stop Bavat and this planet killer. I'm notifying all available ships to change course for Imaga. Once the energy drain is taken care of, they'll move in to support you. I don't need to tell you how important it is to stop the Doomsday Machine before Bavat can use it to attack populated worlds. Millions of people are relying on you to save them. I know you can do it. Good luck. Frederick to yes, Valens. Send a repair team and bridge crew over immediately. We'll be using this Understood. ship. Understood. I'll join you shortly. We're counting on you. Captain, repair teams have begun to work on critical systems, but we could use your expertise. There are teams working on the si on the weapons, the sensors, and the impulse engines. If you could join one of them, it will be it will be a great help. Right. So, getting a chance to get close to a close look to Klingon weapon system is too much fun to resist. Your tactical training at the academy would be envious of you today. The first thing you need to do to get the target's weapon back online is to determine the extent of the damage. There is a console in engineering you can use to run a diagnostic. Right, a level 1 diagnostic should show the problems of what needs to be fixed. Very well, get to your stations. I'll be in engineering. Great. Actually, there's a uh, item crate, I think, up here. I just need to go ahead and get to it. Ah, it's not available. Alright, fine. Oh, I figured out how to actually get rid of that stupid flyby uh, notifications. Click the tab here, go to notification settings, and there you go. You can actually disable the information here. This is fantastic. It literally is. It's just fantastic of this actually going up. Alright, let's head over to uh, the weapons console here. The diagnostic shows that the that multiple power couplings on the port side of the ship were fused. Oops. It could take days to replace them all. However, you don't have to prepare the targ for an extended mission. If you evacuate all of the wounded to the Hardy, you could reroute enough power from the sick bay to get the weapons online. It's not a perfect solution, but time is of the essence. Farewell. Let's head over to the uh, sick bay here. I like his uniform. I like what I did. Let's head to sick bay. There is sufficient power to reactivate the disruptors and torpedo launchers. All you need to do now is bring the weapons back online. Yeah, any crew on here is going to be those who aren't wounded. We're counting on you. Ah, that's... That's that. That did it, sir. The ship is almost ready to go. Kvok has asked to speak to you when you have a moment. He is waiting for you in the chief's uh, chief's office. In uh, 
that thing is so horrible. He is waiting for you in the chief's office uh, on the engineering deck. It's either on engineering deck or in engineering. But I prefer uh, uh, on engineering deck. All right, let's head over there, party party. Yeah. Ah, you're here. I think I have a solution to our problem. How so? We need to land on the planet to take control of the energy drain. But you would be noticed instantly. Oh, yeah. I've replicated a hollow emitter used by our intelligence services. It will change your appearance and voice to that of a Klingon warrior. I have enough devices for you and a small away team. Go ahead, try it out. Kapla! I'm not sure about how to feel about for this. Now. Get used to it. Van Zyl to boarding parties. The captain is using a holographic disguise. If you see a Klingon moving toward the bridge, do not fire. Repeat, do not fire. Oh yeah, that would be nice. I don't want to get blasted by my uh, crew just walking around with a hollow emitter. That would be a horrible idea. And horrible, I mean a deadly effect. Do not let them kill me. Please. I'll, I will hate all of you if you do. Alright, let's go ahead and get going. Well, they're not shooting at me, so that's good. Sir, is that you? I'm sorry, Captain. I'm not just... I'm just not used to taking orders from somebody who... Well... You look better in Starfleet uniform, that's all. I'm sorry, sir. I don't mean to disrespect. My apologies. Uh, I've been updating uh, St Starfleet on our progress, sir. The, uh, and Admiral Quinn says that the task force will be ready to enter the system as soon as it gets the all clear. We'll wait for your signal, Captain. Good luck, or show us a kapla. All systems are ready and operational, and we are ready to depart, Captain. Warp to a MAGA sister. More questions? Yes, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> ah, don't answer that. I'm monitoring communications from the planet. They're not calling for ships, so either they haven't noticed us or they think we're supposed to be here. We're safe for now, but that could change. We need to scan one of the generators maintaining the energy drain to get all the information I need to finish a new command program. Be careful. Bavat trusts no one. Not even his own men. He may have defenses in this system even I don't know about. Well... That's good to know. Alright, I'm not going to fiddle with anything here because I'm not going to be using it for an extended period. That worked. <laughs> damage report. Minimal damage, Captain. All systems are functional. Uh, Kvalk, what attacked us? Drones? Ah! Bavat must have upgraded the security. Scanning the generators now. I have the data. We will need to load the control program into all three generators. After that, we can change the command codes from a terminal on the planet's surface. Alright, let's go ahead and do that.
Alright, I'm gonna fast forward here from this point on, so that way it's not really that boring, but at least you'll be able to see what is happening. Catch you over there! Alright, that did it. Alright. The generators are <laughs> generators The generators are under our control now, but your ships won't be safe until we lock Privat and his forces out of the command consoles. I have equipped your away team with hard projectors, and they're ready for the mission. And Captain, remember that you're Klingon now. Try not to look out of place. Yeah. Let's try not to get ourselves killed, shall we? And introducing Jay. Oh, I need to. Yes, Jay is my uh, new bridge officer. She's actually an android. Actually, for this, I'm gonna have them on peaceful. I look like Vivat. Oh well. The objective here is simple. Find a control console and change the command codes. Then Bavat won't be able to stop us from shutting down the energy drain. There are two consoles. The Alpha console is staffed by an officer who might be willing to negotiate. The Beta console, uh, let's just say that Commander Talk prefers fighting to talking. The soldiers here shouldn't challenge you. But be careful of the Targs. The hollow emitters won't fool them. I have another task to complete. Meet me back here when you are done with the command codes. Ah! So Alright, there we go. Sorry, guys. Alright, so... I can tell you straight on one thing. First of which, this one requires to have uh, some sort of diplomatic uh, ranking. This one doesn't. So I'm going to head over there, and I'm definitely going to do a jump cut over to that section. So I'll see you guys over there. Alrighty, here we are. How can I help you? Oh, Captain, I've been monitoring your progress from the ship. You're very close to one of the control consoles. There are cleanouts where you need to go. You'll, you will either need to convince them to leave their post or find other means to gain access. Yes, I know. The Empire will prevail. Yes. Death to the enemies of the Empire. I see your mission was successful. Excellent. Mine was as well. I smashed the device that Bavad used to control the Doomsday Machine. The Planet Killer is now as dangerous to him and his ships as it is to anyone else. You cannot control the storm, Captain. If you try, it will consume you. Meet me back at the ship. There is more to do before this dark day ends and my honor is restored. Okay. Um... Jump cut over back over there. You're gonna see real quick that um, my character appearance has changed. This is because the server has disconnected me and I had to re log back in. So, yeah. That's just wanted to mention that. 
No. Alrighty, we are back, and uh oh. Okay. And he has lithians. That's gonna be a problem, Eric. You! <laughs> you stumbled into my trap in the briar patch like a blind Grishna cat. And here you are again, luring Starfleet ships to my testing grounds. The Doomsday Machine will destroy them! It will create glorious, endless war and strife! And it is all possible because of you! Your naivete has been a great help to me. Thank you. No! I will not allow you to dishonor the Empire with your thirst for blood! We face our enemies as warriors, Bothat! We do not massacre innocents with machines of death! There are no innocents! There are only the strong and the weak! Are you strong enough to fight your own weapon? I have destroyed the device controlling the Planet Killer. No one is safe. This isn't over. Warriors, attack! Joel, eat you! Okay. Well, that worked. Your order, sir. Captain, Klingon com traffic had just spiked. Bavat's forces have lost control of the Doomsday Machine, and they are scrambling all available ships to try to stop it. I've been in contact with Commander uh, Burgess. Now that the energy drain won't affect our ships, the Starfleet uh, Task Force is inbound. We need to get back into space as soon as possible. You are my enemy. I see it. Bavat Klander, uh, Plant Killer is here. Maybe it has a weakness that we haven't found yet. Maybe we need to run a scan. Go to the navigational beacon. That should be close enough to... Uh, it's close enough for the scan, but far enough away to keep us safe from until help arrives. Alright, let's head over there. Damage report. Structural integrity holding, sir. We're shook up, but we'll be okay. Captain, there's an unauthorized shuttle launch. It's... it's Kavok. Hail coming in, sir. I'll put it on the main screen. Stay where you are, Captain. I'll handle this. Kavok, turn that shuttle around! You'll be killed! My life is of no consequence, but my honor. No, I must do this. Destroying this abomination is the only way to redeem myself. Farewell, Captain. Koi Kalis Puglod, Koi Puk Be Puhu, Yakbo Matbo Se Shu Guishu, Se Machu Me Hu, Mashu Manag It's Mako Chu. Nipe in my shack wolf, cool. Van ma hefe, it's your teach that. Van pumadi, pupare, mashuta, kumame, pumashuta, ma o. I'm reading significant damage to the doomsday machine, sir. 
But it's still active. Captain, we still have the Harpang torpedoes. They might be enough to finish the job. The machine's hull is solid neutronium, so targeting it won't help. We'll need to fly in front of the Doomsday Machine and launch the torpedoes down that thing's throat. The fleet will be here to help distract it, but we need to be careful. If we're in front of it when it fires its anti-proton beam, we won't fare any better than that moon did. Then let's pray we don't get killed like that moon. That thing is huge. And there's the fleet. Okay, that hurt. Okay, Captain, Commander Burgess is patching a subspace signal through to us. The message is from Kono, sir. Routing it to the main viewer now. The Empire will prevail. Captain, my name is Kamen. While the Empire realizes that you played a vital role in defeating a threat to both our worlds, I am afraid I must insist that you return the ship you stolen immediately. I would not ha want to have to escalate this into something that we both will regret. The battle is over. We do not need to begin another. Your orders, sir? It might be best to do what he asked, Captain. The fleet is no is in no condition to uh no condition for a prolonged fight, sir. And honestly, there's not much about the bird of prey specifications that Starfleet Intelligence doesn't know already. We did what we came here to do. Let the Klingons have their little victory and the fleet can take you and the crew back to your ship. The important thing is that the Doomsday Machine was destroyed. I'm sure Captain Burgess will want to congratu congratulate you on the job well done. Let's, let's get out of here. Alrighty, let's go ahead and hail Starfleet. Kovalk's loss is unfortunate, but he did what he believed he had to do. In the end, he died with honor. Unfortunately, you were able to destroy the Doomsday device and end the threat of Bavat's weapons programs. We, believe, we probably haven't seen the last of him, but at least he's... He, 
At least now he's disarmed. As as least has as much as any Klingon, that is. And don't worry about having to return the IKS Tark to the Klingons. I don't believe that there's much of that class of bird of prey that stuff the intelligence doesn't know already. If getting the ship back Let's the Klingon think they won a small victory? I don't mind, and you shouldn't either. There are few, very few captains who can say they faced a threat like that. Uh, like you did today and lived to tell the tale. Impressive work. Let's take a look at what we have. We have a human tactical available. Ah, the abilities are not too bad. Uh, let's take a look here. A Bolian. A Bolian Science. It's alright. Well, huh, Biometrics. That's not a bad one to take. Um. Mercy Powers Engines. Uh, a Alien Cadet is whatever alien it is. The freaky alien genotypes. Eh, I'll take the Bolian. That Biometrics 3 looks good. Oh, right. I gotta select something. Um. I think I'll go with uh, Covariant. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Uh, yeah, not now. Ugh. Okay, I think I'm gonna call this episode. Yes, I know I am being keeping these episodes short, but let's face it, you can only do so much. So, what do you think of that episode? It was actually pretty nice. I do like it. And. I don't know, I mean, short episode, yeah, but from here on out, after the next two missions, it's going to be a rather long episode lineup, so I may just do one long episode lineup just to do that mission. So, yeah, that's about it. So what do you guys think? What do you guys hate, like, about that mission? I personally like that mission. I like it. But hey, there are plenty of other missions out there to do. And so much time to do it. Anyways, thank you for watching this episode. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, whatever. As always, have fun, stay safe, watch your six, and as always, I'll catch you guys next time.